Hi, I'm Len Witt. I'm here with Jay Rosen. He's a professor at NYU, and he has somewhere above now 30,000 people following him on Twitter. And I've always respected his work for a really long time. And so, Jay, here's the big question. What do you think the future of journalism is going to be? You ask large questions. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think it's going to be much more fluid and complicated than it is now with many more players, many more participants, obviously many more sources of news. The news system itself will extend to more and more people as we see with Twitter. There'll be a variety of uh, funding models and there'll be players that come in and out. Um, there'll be more tumult, more, uh, more revolutions. There'll be continuous disruptions by new technologies. Uh, and there'll be some things that remain the same, like the importance of accuracy, and truth, and uh, trust, and verifiability, uh, and uh, the questioning and surveillance of power. Those things will all remain very important, but it'll be a much more confusing, complex, and fluid picture than it is now. So do you think the people will be better informed than they are now, the public and the public sphere? or less informed, or you just don't have a clue? I think it's going to be better. Why is that? Because we don't have to depend on a single elite for our information. So do you think that's already happening, or do you think? Yeah, it is already happening. Yeah. So what role then does the professional journalism play in this, if any? Well, they're still very important, and I think they can be a partner with the public in successfully reporting the environment. I think they can um, listen to what users need and provide that. And I still think there's an important uh, job to be done in digging under the surface and telling us things that uh, powerful people don't want us to know. I think that will remain important and difficult for um, others to do well. Yeah, It's hard work. You know, I was a journalist and it's hard work. True. And so how are they going to be paid for? That's a big question that keeps floating around. Don't know. Don't know. So you don't know. So does that make you an optimist or a pessimist in all of this? Or? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I'm optimistic in, in one particular sense, which is that the young people who are coming into the news system today and who are interested in journalism today, um, they, they're not worried. They feel that they are going to be able to figure it out. And they embrace the web, they embrace the openness of uh, the web and the new tools that are uh, emerging to do journalism with. And I get a lot of um, joy and optimistic spirit from them. So since I have con a lot of confidence in them, I, in that sense, I'm optimistic. I'm not optimistic about um, the survival of this cloistered elite that once monopolized the new system. OK. So I just saw the other day, or yesterday even, 60% of the students who come out of journalism school have gotten jobs, which means that 40% have not gotten jobs. Mm. And that's 10% fewer than last year. Mm -hmm. So why would somebody want to be a journalist under those circumstances? Well, that's up for debate, and that's up to individual students. Um, we have 500 majors in NYU. If we have 400 or 300, we'll survive. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think a reason to go into journalism school today would be to help solve these problems and help invent the next new system because the people who are running it now certainly don't know how. So you have two children? Yes. Would you uh, advise them to go to a journalism school? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if, if they wanted to contribute to the thing that journalism does well, which is inform and equip people to participate in their democracy, if that is something that drove them, if they felt it from within, then I would certainly encourage them to go to journalism school, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jim. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.